Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1 with the iPad 4th generation um, tablet. So let's start with the display first and foremost. The iPad crushes the Samsung as far as display goes. It's got First of all, it's got 9.7 inches. This has got 10.1 inches measured diagonally okay but the real thing that I want to look at is the resolution the screen resolution on the iPad is mind-blowing it's two point I'm sorry 2048 by 1536 pixels and you get 264 pixels per inch which gives you a very nice and crisp display now on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 you only get 1280 by 800 okay and the pixels per inch only add up to 149 so the display on the iPad definitely is going to be superior to the Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, 3 10.1 and this has nothing to do with me being an Apple fanboy which I'm not if you look at my other videos I praise Android products however uh, the numbers and the facts don't lie so the next thing I'm gonna look at is the build quality again the iPad crushes Samsung in build quality this thing feels like a million bucks. It's aluminum finish, it's smooth, and when you hold it, it feels like you're holding something that you paid good money for. Okay. Now with the Samsung Galaxy tablet, that is not the case. This thing is plastic all around. So in the back it's plastic, in the front, whatever it is, it's plastic too. But even the trim around the that runs around the um, edge of the device is plastic it's just rendered in silver so build quality wise the iPad crushes the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 now when it comes to weight and dimensions the weight wise the Galaxy Tab 3 is lighter it's only 510 grams this is 652 grams and this is actually a thinner device and the um, it's 243 I'm sorry, 8 millimeters on the side. So this is only 8 millimeters thick. Okay, so if you like thinness in your device, it's a thinner device right there. Go back out here. This one is actually 9.4 millimeters. So you can tell that it's a little thicker than the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. Okay, so in that department, the Galaxy Tab wins. It's lighter and it's thinner. Now the other thing we want to look at is the storage options. And let's look at the specs. So this guy comes with an Intel Atom processor. It's dual core and it runs at 1.6 gigahertz per core. This one is also dual core. It's got Apple A6X processor, the chip, and it's at 1.4 gigahertz. Both of them have 1 gigabytes of RAM. However, the um, do not think just because the specs seem uh, similar that the iPad actually performs as badly as the Samsung does here because this guy when you have a lot of applications running um, it actually becomes quite laggy and I personally hate lag so I cannot use a laggy device if I have games playing in the background if I'm browsing the net and watching a movie and I'm switching between these applications there is an extreme amount of lag in this device it almost becomes unbearable at some points with the iPad that never has been the case okay it's very smooth very fluid and you can switch between heavy applications like there was no problem now storage is something where the Samsung topples the iPad you do get like if you buy this for four hundred dollars you get the sixteen gigs with the iPad if you pay five hundred bucks you get the sixteen gigs however this comes with a micro SD expansion slot so you can go and buy a micro SD card and you can just put it plug it right in the top here or the bottom it was somewhere in the bottom or top and then you can actually increase your size it's at the top right here you can increase the size of your hard drive from 16 to 16 plus 64 with this guy if you buy the 16 gigs you're stuck with the 16 gigs, gigs for the for the timeline of owning the device with this one you have the ability to expand your storage so that's good for movies music and other heavy um, um, heavy duty uh, files now the iPad has a huge battery so the battery life on the iPad is way better than the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 this guy has an 11,666 milliamp hours battery 
and this one has a 6800 milliamps hour battery so the iPad will do way better when it comes to battery life and that is again just a fact the battery is bigger and juicier and one more thing the camera on the iPad is 5 megapixels in the back and 1.2 megapixels in the front this one you got 3 megapixels on the back side when I say back side it's right here and then you got 1.3 megapixels in the front however the quality of the cameras um, the camera on this device is again very bad the quality of the cameras on the iPad is better even with the 1.2 megapixels front facing camera when you're doing the video conferencing you get better quality on the iPad than the Samsung okay so what I want to do is I want to run a Geekbench uh, benchmarking tool on both of these guys and as you know Geekbench is a cross-platform benchmarking tool that allows you to uh, compare the memory and the CPU the processor power so let's uh, go and grab Geekbench right here now before I grab Geekbench I just wanna double tap here I mean press and hold here and show you that there's nothing else running I'm gonna go to task manager and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go to RAM manager and clear the memory so we have currently uh, an optimum condition for the tablet and then we're gonna go to the iPad double tap and the only thing that is actually running is Geekbench so let's go into the Geekbench benchmarking tool let me change the orientation here if it does change if it doesn't we'll just put it this way okay and then let's go over here and choose Geekbench okay so let's run them both and see what kind of numbers we get run benchmark run benchmark okay so the iPad is done let's wait up for the Galaxy Tab to be done as well and the <clears throat> Galaxy Tab is done as well so as you can see the iPad produces the better results that means the processor and the memory combination on the iPad can do quicker um, processing than the Galaxy Tab 3 so you got 1794 you got 1215 so let's do a quick recap the iPad gives you better build quality and it also gives you the better screen and it gives you the overall smooth and fluid experience as opposed to Samsung which is slow and laggy when you put a lot of applications in the background and then <clears throat> the Samsung tablet is thinner than the iPad it's lighter than the iPad and it allows you to add micro SD cards up to 64 gigs okay and then as far as benchmarking goes we call, we measured that the iPad was actually faster than the Galaxy Tab 3 now for people that are trying to make a decision between these two guys I would personally definitely tell you to buy the iPad and that's not because I'm an iPad fanboy that is just because the iPad performs looks feels better okay and uh, there's another there are other Android tablets out there that I would prefer to the iPad like the Nexus 10 the Google Nexus 10 is a superior Android tablet as compared to this one okay well uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any questions comments put them down in the comments section below and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and give me a thumbs up if you like this video